Hello guys. I thought I would sit down and do another chatty get ready with me. And also I want to use all of my new stuff that I showed you in a couple of weeks ago. The Sephora yeah. VIB haul. Um, I did a live and so that's where all of this is from. So, um, I don't have any new primers, but I opened a new oldie but goldie. Um, this is the, what is this called? First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. If you've been with me for a while, I think it was like last year, I was in love with this stuff. I use this every single day and I love the way it made my face feel. It's super refreshing. It feels like skincare, and it also did like a little bit of blurring. It doesn't really feel pores or anything like that, but it feels so good for anybody who is dry like I am. I love that stuff. Um, so my foundation is going to be exactly the same. Um, you know, I ha had a couple of foundations in my like wish list. Uh, one of which, one of which was the new Dior cushion foundation. <laughs> that thing's like a 80 something dollars, I think. Um, and I also have had the La Mer foundation in my wish list for like two years, I wanna say. And for some reason, whenever it comes time for cart, like I can never pull the trigger because foundation isn't my thing. I'm not like, I just don't have good luck with it. I feel like I always pick wrong colors. I feel like I don't pick the right finishes, even though I know I'm a dry skin girl. Like, it's not like I go out and buy matte foundations and I'm like, gee whiz, I don't know what's wrong. It's, I don't know what it is. I just have horrible, horrible luck with foundations. I always end up returning them. But I, out of any foundations, I feel like I've had better luck with cushion foundations, like that really pretty beauty people cushion foundation that has like those little girls on the front of it. Um, I had really good with the good luck with the white one, the Lumi cushion foundation from L'Oreal. I had really good luck with, and I think there was a Maybelline Dream cushion one that looked really good on me, but I don't feel like any of them add up to this foundation. And I know this one isn't even the right color for me, as you can tell. <laughs> I look very close face right now. Um, but once I get like all my face makeup on, no foundation like leaves me as confident in my skin as this one. And so, you know, when it comes to especially those two foundations that I just met mentioned on my wish list, the La Mer and the uh, Dior, it's like a hundred, how much is the La Mer one? Like over a hundred dollars. And then, like I said, the Dior one's like 80 something. I just feel like $80 could get me a freaking sweet prestige highlighter or, you know what I mean? Like, that's just my jam. So, everyone has their thing. And that's mine. <laughs> so, that's if anyone's wondering, like, girl, you use the same foundation. I have other ones. They're probably all expired because literally this is the only thing that I use. And it's just what I reach for. Um, I have a new concealer. We used a new concealer in the last one. And the coloring and everything was pretty good on that. The LA Pro whatever. But this one I'm really excited about. This is the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've heard really good things about this. And so I'm really hoping. This is Light 2.5 in Creme Brulee. It looks pretty light. So, uh, that I don't think is light enough actually, but we'll see. I mean, I don't like a completely bright white under eye, but this actually has like a quite a strong peach undertone to it. That's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that color at all. I think I need like 1.5. I don't think that did anything. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. I have terrible luck with picking stuff, especially online, man. It did definitely some color correcting, but it's not doing anything for brightening. I have used this a couple more times since that video, and the brush has not gotten any better. Just. For anyone who's run wondering, I just want a little bit of brightness to look a little bit more awake and to look like I feel 
somewhat better than I actually do. I feel like absolute crap, you guys. I can't even tell you. There are so many things going on with my body. Um, I think I told you guys I've stopped breastfeeding, and so <sighs> hormones are a biatch, and, you know, what comes along with not breastfeeding. Um, I don't have a new powder. <laughs> I, I really want to get that Charlotte Tilbury one, but I don't have money for all that right now. I don't have money for anything right now because I've been working extremely hard on the business which may I am going to film that video today I'm doing my makeup for that video I'm so freaking nervous you guys you know I showed a couple of friends and obviously Andrew my designs and you know friends and family are like yeah that's great you know those are awesome and I would like to think that my friends would be like girl no but there's always that fear that it's just not going to translate well over to, you know, strangers that don't know me. And so I'm so freaking nervous to do this video. But I'm also like, I, I can almost breathe. Um, I'm going to use an oldie but goodie. This is the Chicathon original. This was before, um, what's that one? California and before Hula Light came out. So we have, I'm going to use the original Hula as my bronzer today, and I'm just using a Wet n Wild brush. There's one design, and I'm kind of nervous about it, and it's a Halloween t-shirt, and I designed it. I actually didn't design it, but I had somebody design it for me and bought the rights to it and everything. And it's like a play on a logo, but it's a play on a logo that is part of a controversy right now. But I feel like my audience is not really, I don't know, because I don't support what the controversy is, especially like what the company said. But the play on the logo has actually nothing to do with the company. It's like a scary movie. And so... I don't know. I just don't know how it's going to translate over because it's a play on a Nike logo and it has literally nothing to do with Nike. It just is a play on the logo and it has a scary movie. And so I'm kind of nervous about that because I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression that I support Nike or anything like that. It literally has nothing to do with Nike. Um, I'm going to use Dandelion. I freaking used this a couple couple days ago and I forgot how good dandelion is it's like the perfect feminine soft pink I forgot how good it is and this is I guess where the shop my stash series comes in where you're like oh my god I forgot I forgot how good it is and I don't have any new blush bronzer or highlighter I mean I have new highlighters but not anything from my recent video we can use this LA colors one it's like an affordable I got this at Daiso this is in the color morning light strobing illuminating powder it's very very pretty So I'm going to do my brows off camera, but I have a new brow gel that we'll talk about. So I'll be right back. Okay, brows are on. We're going to use a brow gel from the brand Sephora. And it just says clear brow gel um, 01. And I am really intrigued because the little applicator is so small in like such a different shape. We'll see how strong the hold is on it. Man, that takes off a lot of product. Of the actual brow color. What 
which is not okay with me because I spend a little bit more time than I should on trying to get as much color in there. Probably be easier to use that like brow gel stuff, um, brow pomade, but I like the pencil. It's easier for me. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, okay, I'm going to use one of the new Jaclyn Hill Vault. Um, I don't want to do anything too crazy, I don't think. But I really haven't, I haven't used the Dark Magic palette yet. But literally the last two looks I've done have been grungy. I'm still going to do it. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the Dark Magic one. This is the only one I haven't used yet. Um, I'm going to go in with the color Poof, which is this one right here, and just run that through my crease. See what kind of transition color. Oh, that's a perfect transition color. I'm so nervous. I still need to do my hair too, which I wanted to film like how I curl my short hair, but I feel like it's exactly the same as when it was long. <laughs> it just takes a little bit less time, so I don't. If you guys want me to, let me know, and I will. But I'm not going to today, just because I'm so nervous. I'm so nervy. And everyone like keeps telling me like how excited they are and I feel like that makes me even more, more nervous. Like what if they're terrible? <laughs> You're your own worst critic. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to go on with the color shh right here. It's literally called shish. Shish. Shh. S-H-H. Shh. Sh. Sh. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a khaki color. Should I zoom you in? Yes, I should. Did you guys see? I put up my new desk. I built it myself. You probably saw it in the vlog. Because I'm like a week behind on tutorials. It, I just last night edited one, the grungy one for today. I just put it up today. Uh, I'm not going to do, like, I really wish, I not wish, but one day I'm going to sit and do something with these, like, greens and blues. I really want to, but not today. Today I'm just going to do, like, a neutral eye, I think. Man, I, like, the worst time you could pick to get sick is when it's, number one, that time of the month. Number two, it's drill weekend, which means on Saturday and Sunday, my husband works, like, 13, 14-hour shifts. Plus, Bailey is, Aiden's sick, but he, like, doesn't care. He's just going on with him, his bad self, which I'm so happy and thankful for. But Miss Bailey is also sick, and at the same time that she's sick, she's cutting two teeth, like, they're finally popped out, and you could just tell that she does not feel good. And so her and I are, like, poor, sad people. And I have no help. And starting like the week that this goes up, but in real life for me, like next week, I'm supposed to be starting like a ton of stuff for um, <sighs> church. I signed up for all kinds of things because I was telling you guys in a vlog that I need to like make my own community and make my own support system. And I feel like a really great place to do that is church when you don't have like a ton of family or dependable family and so um you know i signed up for women's bible study on mondays at seven in the morning which sounds insane but i really wanted to do it i wanted something for myself and where i didn't take any kids because andrew's usually typically off on sundays or uh, sundays mondays um so now i'm going to take the color power cut this like kind of steel gray and I'm going to put that on my lid and just see, oh, that's pretty. Do we like that? I think so. Um, so I was doing that on Mondays. Tuesday, I signed up for a fit moms thing at church and you like study a book. It's like a Bible study, but you're like also working out, 
which this mama needs to work out. You know what I'm saying? Like, bad. Um, and it's not like I can join a gym. I mean, I could, but I don't know when I would be able to even go. So, um, one day a week commitment for that is good for me right now. Wednesdays, I'm going to sign up Aiden for that Awana thing, which is like a children's Bible study. Third, every other Thursday is my new mom's meetup. It's not called Mops anymore. It's called Mothering Matters. So, um, you know, I wanted to create this community. I wanted to have this support system, especially the time is upon us. Andrew is getting geared up for deployment. Like he's already starting training and stuff. He goes to his actual, they call it um, RTC training in November. Um, and then he leaves like the first week of January, I think. And that's all subject to change. And it usually changes 18 million times before anybody decides what they're doing. But um, I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of color with this. <laughs> Uh, army green on the lower lash line. Ooh. <gasps> Very pretty. It's like super fall. Oh my gosh, that army green is so pretty, you guys. Holy cannoli. Like I said, um, the shimmers in my palette are not the best shimmers from Morphe, in my opinion. And she was even saying that some people like returned theirs and there were still inconsistencies. But, I don't know, I don't know if I want to return it or it, I wouldn't return it. Like, give me my money back. I would maybe exchange it and see if I had better luck with another palette. Um, shimmers. Man, I'm running a fever. I can tell because I'm sweating, but I'm not hot. Like, I am definitely sick. <laughs> and so that's where I was going with that whole story is that all of this is supposed to be going on next week, but I would... I've said this before in the past, like, knowingly going out and, like, bringing your sick children or your sick self to functions, I feel like is so selfish because I would hate for any other mom to feel how I'm feeling right now or for their babies to feel how my babies are feeling. So, um, I think I'm going to have to call off week one just because I don't want to run the risk of getting anyone else sick. I just feel like that's really shitty. Oh my gosh, I seriously want my whole eye to be this army green. Like, I need to do a look with this on top. It's so pretty. I love it. Yeah, I'm like sweating, you guys. I'm so sick. And I didn't realize it until just now when I realized that I'm like, I have chills and I'm sweating. And I know you guys are like, but didn't you start talking to your parents again? Yeah, we did. But there's my mom's still in um, California, so don't have much help there either. But that's okay, because she's helping my grandma, which she needs it, because she is sick, sick, sick. Much more sick than I am. Um, okay, we have a new eyeliner to play with. It's the Rihanna... What is this? Fly liner. Such a dumb name, but what are you going to do? So, I'm going to see if I can do this with staying in shot, shall we? Ooh, it's pigmented. It's a little bit of uh, a watery um, formula. That's actually not bad, Miss Rihanna. But I still don't think that that's a brush. I still think it's a felt tip, which I usually don't like felt tips because I feel like I don't have as much control over the line, but that uh, actually isn't too bad. I'm actually really impressed with that. Not bad. Um, they're not related in any shape, way, or form, but that is my life. Um, so there's definitely hype for that for a reason, which isn't always the case because I know a lot of people really, really love the Kat Von D, what is it, Trooper? And I never liked it, even before the whole issue came up that I have with Kat Von D and I decided not to support her anymore. 
even before that when I I used to have a ton of her stuff you guys believe it or not um I, I never could get into trooper I, it just didn't work for me but this one actually did pretty dang good um for it being a felt tip the very tip of it stayed nice and sharp so I could get like a clean line I'm really really happy with that actually which is exactly what I needed, a $20 alternative to my $10 one. All right, um, I'm going to put a navy in my lower lash line. This is a, it's called Overnight from Marc Jacobs. I always use a Marc Jacobs highlighter in a different color because why the hell not? Although I did do blue in my waterline last time, but I felt like this blue would kind of make that army green pop. Oh. Um, I want to try this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I think I have tried this already, actually. I don't think it smells like Fix Plus, like people said at all, actually. Not to me. Uh, I'm gonna do some mascara real quick. The usual MAC on my lower lash line. I'm using my Better Than Sex because I wanna really finish this up. And also, I somehow managed to lose my Stila Huge Mini one. Does not mascara just like, ugh, I say this every single video, just makes the look. It really does though. Is anyone else's lashes completely different on one eye than it is the other? Like. This left eye is like, hi, how are you? Nice and fanned out. And this one's like, hi, how are you? It's like spiky and rough. And they don't like curl. Bastados. Okay. I want to try two lip products. One is going to be this Marc Jacobs lipstick. It's like a gloss stick. What the hell is it called? It, this is in Mo one move time enamored hydrating lip gloss stick. Holy moly, that is so hydrating and such a pretty color. Oh my gosh. Mm, I'm pretty sure I need to go get every single one of these. If you could feel this, it feels like the most comfortable lip balm. It's not sticky like a gloss at all. Oh my god. This is the best accident ever. Oh my gosh, I love that. That feels so nice. I almost don't want to ruin it, but I really want to see what this would look like as a topper. I love that. I love that. Oh my gosh. This is that NARS Orgasm um, lip gloss. It's actually called a full vinyl lip lacquer. Okay, look. I might actually just leave my hair like this. It kind of looks decent, right? Nah, I should probably be a little bit more professional when it comes to um, my very first business premiere. Uh, <laughs> I had just a little bit of um, mascara transfer under here, so I'm just going to buff that. And I'm also going to put just a little bit more of that army green underneath. Don't judge me. I like really want it to show, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Yeah, much better. Okay, so I'm going to officially call it there. It's a long enough video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, wish me luck on filming this next video. Oh, good. And I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Okay, bye.